Hi there you guys, I'm Teddy from Bijuteo Beading and in today's tutorial I'm gonna be showing you how to make these snowflake super duo earrings. They're super easy and I'm showing step by step so I'm sure you're gonna be able to make them by yourself. If you're new here, consider subscribing because bracelet tutorial is coming and maybe you would like to make a beautiful set. If you subscribe, like, share and comment, you motivate me to make more videos. Let's start with the list of the material. Hey guys, so what I'm using here for this video are three colors of super dual beads or you could use twin beads or other brand of similar shape to hold beads. And here I'm using seed beads in three colors. By the way, you could find full list of materials in description and also there you could find my Facebook page to share pictures of your creations that you did following me, link for PayPal donations, link to my second channel and you could see what you will get if you decide to become a member of this channel. Okay, let's continue. These are earring findings and two jump rings. I here use only two ATO beads. I use them to put my jump rings in them and finish my earrings, but you could skip those two atos and just make a loop of seed beads when you finish your work. I just prefer to do it this way. Here I'm using needle, size time beading needle, scissors, and I also use pliers to attach my jump rings and my earring findings to my work. Okay, and now I'm going to take about half an arm span of thread on my needle and I'll be back. Okay guys, and I'm going to start by picking up two super dual beads and one blue bead. Then I will do this again and I want to continue this sequence until I do this five times. So now what I have are five seed beads that divide 10 white super dual beads and they are combined two by two. If you want, you could pause this video and pick them up and we will continue. Okay, now I'm sliding those down. I will stick my needle in my mat and here what I want to do is make a knot. How I do this, I make here a loop and I go twice through the loop I've made. You could even go three times if you want, pull gently and then make one more knot. When you make the knot and pull, make sure you are between those two beads where you started your knot from. Okay, and then pull. Now I have this beautiful circle of beads. In my next step, guys, I will go through these two super dos in this direction like this then I will go through this empty hole in the opposite direction and now I'm changing direction but don't worry blue beads two blue super dos and I'm going here through the next empty hole of my neighbor super do and I have this then I'm going to take a silver super do and I'm going in the next empty hole of my next super do then take two blue and go here a silver and continue until the end. This is what I have. Then I'm exiting out of this uh, white bead here, this one. 
its outer hole and now I want to go through these two blue beads just like this and pull then again I'm changing directions I'm going through the other empty hole of the same blue bead I'm zigzagging from here to here and I need to superduce one silver superdo and go here then again one more silver superdo and go here then again two white superdos and go here and one by one to fill the gaps two silver superdos And now guys, I will continue this until the end of this row. It's really easy and really pleasant. Okay, so this is what I have now. In my next step, what I want to do is go here through these two white beads, then go through their empty hole here at the top and take two blue beads and go in the empty hole of the next super duo like this. Then take just one blue bead and go here in this super duo and fill the hole with another silver super duo okay then it comes the blue bead go here and take another two blue beads and go here in the empty hole of the next one then again a blue go here a silver go here a blue go here two blue super deuce here and blue silver blue blue seed bead silver super duo and a blue seed bead and continue these guys until the end and i'll meet you here okay guys and here i am at my last step where I need to add my last beads from this row and now I'm going to start another row which will be the last one okay I'm going through these two blue beads from these inner holes uh, filled with thread and I'm going through the empty hole here at the top and then I take three silvers and go like this at the top Okay, then what I want to do is exit at this silver bead and how I do this I go again through these two blue beads then through the bottom white bead I'm just making thread repositioning because I want to reach the silver super do that is in the center of my work okay. 
I mean in the center sticking out okay so now I'm exiting here through this hole of this super duo and I'm going to take a white bead now and go through its empty hole I'm exiting out of the inner hole and take one and go through the empty hole then again I do this one more time but this time the other way around from the outer hole to the inner hole and then I take three and go here okay then what I want to do in my next step is reach again the blue super dues that are here at the top okay these two okay and I'm going to repeat the same thing guys I'm going through the empty hole of this super duo take three seed beads and go here then go in this direction through the inner hole of these two okay like this then in this direction By the way, I think you could go like this or you could go down like I showed you in my previous step. The important thing is to reach this one that is sticking out and to make these five beads stay here. Okay, so I'm exiting through one of those two white beads that I just added. and take three and go back like this okay then you should reach the blue super dose and i'll show you this step and let you do this by yourself until the end okay go through this super do take three go here and then go back in this direction through all of those beads and reach the silver one okay and i will finish this and i'll be back and maybe you wonder where should you put this ato that i told you uh, when i was showing the list of materials okay here is the time to put it at this last step you add 11 o ato and 11 o and then go in the same way like this and if you want you could reinforce this joint here because this is where you will attach your earring finding in this bit uh, the jump ring will go in a while okay let me show you one more time the last step And now as I'm almost ready I need to make a knot and cut my thread and I make it here at the angle first I make a loop and then I go once and I go second time through the loop I make 
and make sure I'm between those two beads where I started my knot from and I pull and I could repeat this knot several more times. When I'm ready with the last knot, I go through some beads in this direction and I cut my thread, never cut next to a knot, always through some beads in this direction. Okay. Now I have this and here I will attach my earring finding. So how I do this, I open up this jump ring that I have here and I go through this A2. Okay. Then I take my earring finding and I put it here. By the way, if you don't have A2, you could do this with a loop of beads. instead of the a and attach directly this earring finding okay and now my earring is ready okay guys and now my super do snowflake earrings are ready so if you like them and you want to see more and more videos like this it's a good idea to subscribe if you still haven't and hit the bell because in this way you will know when i make new matching tutorials like a bracelet is coming soon so it's a good idea to do this uh, down there in description you will find the full list of materials, my Facebook page to share pictures of your creations that you did following me, link for PayPal donation, link to my second channel and you will see what you get when you become a member. Okay, that was all from me. Bye bye.